3631 Tactical here. Today I want to talk about drawing your pistol and using it from your vehicle. The first thing I want to say is I think that this is a really bad idea. If you're confronted with deadly force, your, your better option would be to exit this vehicle. Get out of this vehicle, get uh, behind something that has uh, more cover, something that's going to stop incoming rounds, have some mobility, be that moving target. You can uh, move and twist and turn and, and a lot better when you're outside this vehicle than when you're in. <clears throat> when, you, when I'm in this vehicle, my, my mobility is very limited, right? But there may come a time when you can't get out of the vehicle. Maybe you don't have time to get out of the vehicle. Maybe uh, maybe I got kids in the back seat and I'm not about to get out of this vehicle and run away when I got my kids in the back seat, right? So there may come a time when you can't exit the vehicle and you may have to fight from the vehicle. So we wanna talk about how to draw the gun and how to shoot from the uh, uh, inside of your vehicle. Well, first I wanna talk about how I carry. And to keep things simplified, I carry the gun pretty much the same way all the time. And that's at the three o'clock position. So I have a little training Glock uh, 19 here in the three o'clock position. One thing that I like to do, if I'm in the car by myself or I'm in the car with somebody that knows I have a gun, um, I always take my shirt and I tuck it underneath the gun. So I don't have to worry about removing the gun or removing my shirt from the, uh, from the gun if I have to draw it. If I have it this way, nobody outside the car can see. If somebody did walk up to the car and say they weren't a threat, I just do this. I'm driving my car, still can't see that I got a gun, but if I have to get to it, I can get to it. Now, some people may not be able to do that. Maybe you have people in your car that don't know you have a gun and you need to keep it covered. So for that purpose, for that reason, we'll do everything with the gun covered. All right, first let's talk about if I had to draw the gun and engage a threat that was on the passenger side of my vehicle. First thing I would do would be to get my garment out of the way, get that shirt out of the way, get a good grip on the gun, draw the weapon out. And one thing that I like to do is put my hand on the steering wheel and take my left foot and plant it so I get a good solid base. And then I would have to lean out and engage that bad guy uh, with one hand. I think this is easier for a right-handed shooter than it would be for two hands because although I have two hands on the gun I'm really twisted and contorted here. This is not a comfortable shooting position It's much more comfortable for me to put the hand on the steering wheel plant my foot and I can lock lock my position in a lot better here Same thing if I had to shoot out of the rear window of this vehicle I would plant my uh, hand on the steering wheel plant my left foot on the ground I could come around reach and I could shoot out of that back window and I got a pretty steady position I kind of learned this from shooting competitions. Some of the competitions I shoot, they have you shooting from a car. And there were times when I tried to do this with two hands and twist, and I was really contorted and I really didn't get good shots. Um, but when I you know, made use of the steering wheel and planted my foot, I really got locked in and I was able to shoot with one hand pretty, uh, pretty accurately and pretty fast. The other thing you have to understand, if you are gonna do this, this is a, a bad situation. This is like you have no other choice. And that thread is probably gonna be pretty close to your car. So you should be able to work uh, with the one-handed grip and hit your target. It's not like I'm doing this shooting at somebody that's 25, 30, 40 yards away. It's like, oh, oh shit, bad guy is right here right now. So remember, use your hand on the steering wheel, plant your foot, and you can get a really solid uh, 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 solid right, position. If I have a threat on the driver's side, same thing. I'm gonna, <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna do is get my garment out of the way, get that shirt out of the way, grab the gun. I'm gonna pull it straight out. You can see it's pointed in this direction. I'm gonna bring it up and then I'm gonna come around this way in this direction. <clears throat> and then if I have a threat that's more uh, in this direction, I could punch straight out two hands and get on the threat. If my threat is maybe to the side or even back this way, I might do the same thing. I might use my hand on the steering wheel to kind of brace myself, turn and, and use my arms here to stabilize myself. Can you imagine shooting in this direction at a bad guy with both hands on the gun? That's not gonna work. That's gonna, you're very kind of twisted and contorted. It's better just to turn, use your steering wheel, use your feet, and use your arms as a brace and fire that way. Now, just the way I drive a car, I don't like to be right on top of the steering wheel. So I could draw the gun, do this, come across the steering wheel and punch it out. Some people drive with their, and I, I don't know if this is just your choice, I guess, but some people tend to drive with that steering wheel really close to their body. I don't know, maybe you have short legs and you have to sit really close. But if you're really close to that steering wheel, you could do the same exact thing, but instead of coming across, just come up over the steering wheel and then punch it out to your bad guy or to your threat. Again, if you got room here and you can do this, this is what I prefer to do. But if you don't, if for some reason you sit really close to that steering wheel, you know, just come up over the top of the steering wheel and engage your threat. 
Now, I know there's going to be a whole gaggle of people out there saying, well, what about appendix carry? And I made a video called Appendix Carry is Stupidly Dangerous. And I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But real briefly, basically, appendix carry, as soon as the gun clears the holster, it's pointing at my legs. There's no way around that. As soon as it clears the holster, it's pointing at my legs, pointing at my crotch. I don't want to do that. If your finger gets on the trigger too soon, you're, you're going to shoot yourself. No, no doubt about it. And people say, well, I keep my finger off the trigger or all these other excuses. Well, when you're staring down the barrel of a gun, you don't know what you're going to do until you're in that position. And if you got it at 3 o'clock position, like I just demonstrated, if you pull the gun out, you come across this way. At no time has that gun ever pointed at me. If I screw up, finger gets on the trigger, maybe I shoot my dashboard or my steering wheel or my seat, but I'm not shooting my legs and crotch. That's important. All right, let's try some of those techniques live fire. On that last one, with this view of this camera, if you notice, I had my left hand on the steering wheel, my right hand, my elbow was posted on this hand, and it looks like I'm a little twisted up here, but if you grab the steering wheel hard and you lock in here, you can get a pretty, I'm pretty solid here, as opposed to being, try to twist and turn and, and not having that kind of stability. If you just lock this in and, and get stable, you can get the shots off in that direction, no problem. Remember, the ideal situation is not to be shooting from your car. This is a really bad spot to be. I'm only saying if there's no other way. If, if something pops up and it's right here and I can't, I don't have time to get out of the car. Or like I said, maybe I got my kids in the back seat and man, I'm not giving up my kids in my car. A car I could care less about, but the kids or family members, your wife, husband, sister, cousin, brother, whatever. Yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, check us out at 3631 Tactical on YouTube. And if you're interested in a Michigan CPL class, check us out at 3631tactical.com. Thanks for watching.